In this tutorial I will show how to crochet simple bow for a dog. I put it directly on a dog collar so it's more universal. We can easily move it around or take it off if necessary. I will be using G crochet hook. The main part of a bow will begin with a slip knot, so take a loose end, wrap it over finger, so you have a loop. Take a loop, wrap it over the main strand and using hook grab main strand through the loop. Let's create the slip knot. We begin with a chain 30. We got 5, 10, and we continue till we got 30. I finished my chain, so we got chain 30. Now put the hook into the first chain and make a slip stitch to close it into the loop. Now we got the loop made from chain 30. In this row we will be working in each stitch from the basic round. We begin with a chain 1. Now single crochet in the same stitch. It will be counted as a one single crochet. Now one single crochet in each of next two stitches. So put the hook into the first stitch, make a single crochet and the same in the second stitch. We've created three single crochets. Now in the next 10 stitches we will be making half double crochets. So grab the yarn put through the next stitch, we got 3 loops on a hook and wrap the yarn through all the 3 loops at once. So we got first half double crochet. In the same way we are creating half double crochet in the next 9 stitches, so we count it together as 10 half double crochets. I've already made 4. 5 6 7 8 9 and the last one 10 So we got 3 single crochets and 10 half double crochets in the next 5 stitches we will be making 1 single crochet. 1 2 3 4 and 5. Half double crochet in the next 10 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9 and 10. We have 2 stitches left and in these stitches we create 1 single crochet in each. To finish the row put the hook into the first stitch and create a slip stitch. That's the end of the first row. Now we can bend it in a half so we can check the dimensions especially moreover the width. We finish the first row. Second and the third row will be exactly the same, so I will show it only once and we will repeat it one more time. So we begin with a chain one, single crochet in the same stitch, 
single crochet in the next two stitches. Half double crochet in the next 10 stitches. single crochet in the next 5 stitches. And half double crochet in the next 10 stitches. There are two stitches left, so one single crochet in each of next two stitches. And to end the row, put the hook into the first stitch and create a slip stitch. That's the end of a second row. The next third row will be exactly the same as a first and a second one. I've finished also the third row, so now we have to begin the fourth one, and we will also repeat it as a fifth one. So rows 4 and 5 will be exactly the same. We begin with a chain 1, single crochet in the same stitch. One single crochet in the next two stitches. Now half double crochet in the next 8 stitches. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now half double crochet in the next two stitches, but only in a back loops. So we put the hook into the loop that is closer to us and create half double crochet. The same we create in the next stitch. So wrap the yarn, put it through the loop that is closer to us and create half double crochet. Into the next 5 stitches we will create uh, half double crochets, but only in a back loops. So we put hook only under the one loop. Because we've made it only in a back loop, it creates some kind of a border that will be in a front part of the bow. Now half double crochet in the next two stitches, but back loops only. Now in the eight next stitches, we make half double crochet, just simple, so we place hook under two loops.
Now we have two stitches left, so just single crochet one in each of the left stitches. To end this row, slip stitch into the first stitch of this row. That was the fourth row and the fifth one will be exactly the same. Now the sixth and the seventh row will be exactly the same as the first row. So we begin with a chain one and one single crochet in the same stitch. Then single crochet in the next two stitches. Half double crochet in the next 10 stitches. single crochet in the next 5 stitches. Half double crochet in the next 10 stitches. At the end we got two stitches left, so single crochet in each of the left stitches and slip stitch with the first stitch on this row. The next, also the last row, will be exactly the same as before. When we finish the seventh row, pull the yarn and cut it away. That's the main part of a bow, now we will create the part that will be in the middle of it. The second part we begin with a slip knot, but leaving just a short tail that will be useful with a finishing of a bow. And now make chain 11. Now we skip the second stitch and put the hook into the third stitch counting from the hook and make one single crochet. Then in the next nine stitches one single crochet in each. So total amount of this single crochet will be 10. I'm on the end of this row, so now chain one, turn it around and in the next 10 stitches we make one single crochet.
that's the end of the middle part of the bow, so pull the string and cut it away, leaving small tail. We have finished two parts of our bow, that's the main part and the second, let's call it the middle part. Now the main part of the bow, we got the loose end and it should be moreover in the middle of the bow, so we have to bend it just like this to have this uh, loose end in the middle. Uh, now we can uh, hide it using a uh, needle or just hide inside of a bow. This part also have two different sides. Uh, the side with these extra borders we can call the front side of the bow. So now we have to bend uh, the back side in the middle. Uh, put it uh, into bended front side. And that's moreover the shape of our bow. Now we just have to pull these pieces together. So now we need uh, this extra part. And we just put it in the middle of the bow and using a yarn needle we sew the pieces together. There are only three rows in the string, so we have to join three stitches together. That's how we created final shape of the bow. Now we can tie these two loose ends together to secure the bow, just making two or three knots. And the last thing we have to do is to hide these loose ends in the main part of the bow. So just turn this main ring so that these loose ends should be in the top part of the bow. Just like this. Now using the needle or even the crochet hook we can hide them inside the main part so that we won't see them. If the strings are too long to hide them inside we can use scissors to cut them away. That's how the finished bow looks like. Now we just have to place it into the dog collar. Uh, remember that our bow has two sides, with rows and uh, without them. So now we put the end of the collar under the ring and just pull it through and place it in the appropriate place of the collar. That's how the dog collar with an extra bow looks like.